Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to part 2 of the RDI Legendary campaign using Radius mod, Total War, Rome, the original Rome mod and of course the No Civil War mod. So, in the last episode we unfortunately suffered our first defeat in the very first battle of the campaign and what that has meant is we're on the back foot and the Daorsi are now probably going to wipe us out unless we can retreat back over the border. I think with the end turn phase as well, so we're going to click end turn and see how things go now. Oh, my ship. I forgot about my ship. That's good. Reinforcements. <laughs> so we're at war with Rome and we're at war with the Daorsi. I also think the, the Del Matai may end up declaring war on us as well. Just a feeling I have. Oh, where are they going? Uh oh. Oh man. The thing is, look at this, they, they're so depleted. But we can't win that, possibly, so we're going to retreat, retreat back into our land retreat. where we have reinforcements and they decide not to pursue us, which is a smart move by the AI. And their general looks like it's leveled up as well, which is unfortunate. And here we go, mission isn't issued. Capture Del Millium. Well, it's what we're trying to do anyway, so that's no surprise there. I have a ship here now docked, which will help public order a little bit as well. Ah, look at this. Del Matai are now on the front foot against the door, see? And the t <laughs> they've only got a garrison of one unit there. Right, this is the opportunity we've been waiting for. I have, I have a very depleted army here which is going to attack Delminium. I'm hoping... Yes, I'm right. These guys are going to be here as well as reinforcements. So guys, I shall see you on the battlefield. Hello everyone and welcome back to the battlefield. As you can see, I haven't arranged my troops yet. I've just left them like this. What is this? What the hell? Piggies! Are they pigs? Are you pigs? Make your offerings to the gods and draw your I think they're pigs. What the hell? To the glory of our okay. <laughs> my general's doing a speech in the background. I'm just like, look at the pigs, look at the pigs. Right. So, my... Uh, well, not allies. They're just people that are at war with these. The Del Matai. They are somewhere. Spawning from somewhere. Oh, there they are. In the, in the distance over there. The thing is, because I took the opportunity to jump in there straight away and actually attack it means that if I can just sit here basically for the whole battle they can run in for me take all the damage take out the one unit they got there and I actually take the settlement so I've done a very smart move by jumping in like I have although I do want to get my hands dirty as well so I'm gonna take my Illyrian levies and I am going to try to climb the tower maybe take take this here once I can take that I can march in myself and attack I don't know where the enemy is but finally we should be able to take this this uh, settlement no problem let's just have a look at our units nice shield design there Nice horses. My general up here. There he is. He wants blood. Brykos. My reinforcements. If I click this down space, they're gonna come along by here by the looks of it, and they're gonna actually come towards the the tower. They're most probably in the capture point up here, I assume. But this is going to be a bit boring, so I'm going to fast forward this because, you know, it's going to be a little bit boring probably. Got some Molossian war dogs as well. Cavalry war dogs on one unit of infantry <laughs> against uh, a settlement with one unit. I know I could have auto resolved this, probably should have auto resolved this to be honest, but I got so <laughs> annoyed in the last episode when I, when I lost this battle when I thought that I was actually going to fight one unit in an ambush first. And then it turned out I was actually fighting the whole thing because the ambush system doesn't seem to work even if they are in that stance in a settlement. So 
yeah, you know, I was a little naive there. I had to fight the battle. I, I didn't really have the right units to do it. I had a lot of cavalry and not probably enough infantry. One or two more units, infantry units, and I think I could have probably done it. But anyway, let's concentrate on this battle now. So our friends are actually burning the gates down as we speak while I climb this tower. I'm just going to try and take this tower if I can. There we go, jump in there, start taking the tower while they burn the gate down. <laughs> oh man, this is... Oh, look at the blob. My, my, my friends are blobbing. The funniest thing about this is I'm going to try and take these guys out in the next turn or two and take all, the whole province. Take all of Illyria. Bum, bum. Anyway, I'm going to go back to normal speed now because this is been taken. And I think I'm going to take my war dogs in with me as well. Let's get the war dogs in yet. Actually, before I do anything, I'm going to just check the sound. I think it's slightly high. Let's just bring it down a notch. And about there. Should be okay. Don't want it to be too loud. I know I love the music and everything, but it could sometimes be deafening. It might just be the headphones. I'll, I'll double check this when I edit this video. And if I think it's too loud, I'll obviously change it before the next recording session. Now, they're going to be. Uh, in the tower, I assume. In the not the tower, the the capture point. Probably sitting by that tree over there. The great wayward tree of the north. <laughs> Get a Game of Thrones reference in there. Why not? Um, have a little look, my doggies. Little doggies. Little little doggies. Meow. Ba 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 ba. Can't see them yet. Line of sight's not letting me. Fearless warriors. Fearless warriors. Hey. Oop, little boop. Surrender. Ah, there they are. So I have 71 men. I only got 25 in my Illyrian levy, so I won't be able to take them out by the looks of things. Lost some of my levies to the, the Archer Tower. They're just throwing everything in. Not being a coward, that's that's good. I'm gonna fast forward again, guys, because it's just gonna drag on otherwise, and you know, don't want to put you through that if it's unnecessary. So we're just gonna speed it up a little bit till we get to this poor sod over here. We say general to there he is, I think, in the front. Verzo, I finally get to take out Verzo. Bum 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 bum. There he is. Look at the eyes. Demonic man. <laughs> gooly, gooly, gooly. And they get pelted. And they are eager, but then they lose losing plenty of men. I'm just going to let my, my ally do this for me. Let him quickly take him out. Boom, 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 boom. Battle over. Yep, decisive victory. See, I lost 48 men then. But I didn't kill anybody. <laughs> my ally killed 53, and that was enough. RDI, get our first province finally. And that should be the end of the door, see? Ooh, into the head, take that. Take that, right. Delminium should be ours. I shall occupy. And I've increased in rank, excellent. Imperium's gone up as well. And they've been destroyed in the process. So we have our first province of the Let's Play, finally, in the second episode. Go for authority there. And my spy now is going to go towards Yada. They are quite weakened, so if I can build up an army quickly, which I am doing over here, might be wise to upgrade these. The ra <laughs> what, a fa what a name, the Raiders. Quite basic. Pirate CA. Hmm, what should we release around the next DLC? I know. We will call them the Pirates and Raiders DLC. Oh, we need to rename these armies. What should we name them? Um, um, I know, the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that's what their board meetings are like. 
Anyway, so we've got two ballista coming here, and I think we can probably get a Lyrian Hoplite in there. For the tribe! For the tribe. I'm gonna upgrade these. I'm gonna upgrade the War Dogs as well. I'll probably disband the cavalry. But for now, I'm just gonna keep them for now just to help my public order. And speaking of public order, I need to probably repair some of the stuff here. I need to convert that to something. What can we go for? Horse pens. Right, dismantle it. Yeah, we'll dismantle it for now. I'm uh, gonna take Yada then. I'll probably go for Sigundum then, because I think this is a wall settlement, so it's good to get a wall settlement early on. We'll get two of them even. I'm gonna click end turn, and we'll see what mischief we can get up to in this end turn phase. I hope you're all enjoying this series. If you are, let me know in the comments below. If you've got any suggestions, let me know as well. I like reading your comments. Nice to see what you guys think I've done wrong or what you think I've done right. Or if you were playing in my situation right now, what you would actually do. Trouble Propolis, we know that. It's fine, we'll sort that out in a second. Minus eight at the moment, like Delminium. So we can upgrade or change this now. So the public order might be useful. Uh, food, we're okay, I think. We've got plus three food at the moment. Get them close lands. No, don't need that because we've got the blacksmith. So I think we're okay there. So it's either the commons or the sacred enclosure. I'm gonna go with sacred enclosure because I like to get the public order going. And our culture's the dominant thing anyway. So yeah, so we're fine there on that, on that front. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. What I need is more units here, and now we can get these Illyrians. So we get some Illyrians the there and we we'll disband this one unit of of mercenaries. And then in the next turn or two we can now go for Yada and that will be our third settlement and we'll take the whole province of Illyria. My spy and champion not really do much at the moment, can't really afford to do anything with them. I could probably use this opportunity now that we're not at war with anyone to go raid in. Let's do a little bit of raiding over here with Rome. Who actually knows? Go back. Not yet. I remember why, why I brought them back now. I was going to recruit some more, which I can't afford. <laughs> okay, I'm going to click on turn. I'm going to make sure I do that in the next in the next turn. Get a few more ships. Try to double our force. Get, perhaps have six ships. Be a little bit safer in the water. It's quite no lot of, there's an awful lot of traffic in the water there with uh, the Etruscans, with Syracuse, Carthage, Rome, uh, Epirus, Athens. You get lots and lots of different factions there. So it would be wise to recruit a few more ships just in case. And there we go, we've got some of our units there. Now our food is okay as well, just making sure that I keep track of our food. So we can get some slave javelin raiding Hemiolia, so we're going to get three of them. That's what we're going to do there. And then we have some units here. Um, one ballista, and that's all we can get there for now. One more turn for the sacred enclosure, which will help us out tremendously. I'm going to check the diplomacy because we've got lots of people who are neutral towards us. Rome is the only faction at war with, and I haven't actually fought them yet, which is quite funny. Once I take all of Illyria, I might actually go and take Italy and go for Rome itself. I have two big provinces there, maybe go up to Cisalpina, have all of that along the coast. Because my at the moment I'm trying to think: do I go inland towards Dacia, or do I go outwards towards Italy? They like the two options I kind of have once I take Illyria, so it's worth noting. Delmati, will they the join? No, they won't. Of course they won't. Didn't think they would. Okay, so, end turn. Once we end turn, we're going to get the ship's raid in. Get that plus 200 bonus that we get with the raid in trait. Epirus won a non-aggression pact. I am not proposing hmm. marriage now, am I? I'm going no to accept. Paladin. I like the fact that my southern border will be protected in the near future. I was thinking in the first episode that I would take um, Epirus, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't need to go down there. It's not necessary at the moment. Lots of stuff is happening right now in this campaign, so I need to be alert. Public order is ne neutral now, it's good. So what can we go for? Balkan culture plus two public order. That gives us food. 
I might go for one with food. Let's see. Three public order, three growth, and bulk and culture. That's that could be useful. Four public order, two bulk, but we get plus one experience for spies. Land unit recruitment plus two public order. That actually gives us food and that could be useful and we get a public order anyway. And we get the wealth. I'm gonna go for that because for one it's cheaper. We get in the public order plus we get in the wealth, so that's a good idea, I think. Technology wise, we need to learn something new. Um I'm gonna go for war dance because they give us the plus two melee attack and melee defence. It's gonna be useful. And now the ship which I've was on about earlier is gonna go up here now. And we're gonna start raiding. I don't think we can yet, can we? Oop. No, we can't yet. We're gonna start raiding along here, get some get some wealth from Rome. Warriors all. Warriors all. And looking at this, Delmati are not there. They've gone over here, raiding. So this might be the golden opportunity that we're looking for. Ready for orders. We can get the right, guys. This is it. Big time. Big time. Big time. We are going to take this army from Delminium straight to Iada. Now Iada has a garrison of nine plus two, but it's only got one unit there and it's got three units there. So what's that? That's four plus eleven. That gives us about fifteen. They got between them. Okay, we're gonna think about this. So spy is going to go to the garrison. We're gonna poison. Hopefully, we're gonna poison their provisions. And we've just seen the Venetian North as well. Oh my God! Right. The Veneti, are they at war with them? Because this is going to be... Ah, right. We're going to have to be quick. We're going to have to be really quick because Veneti are coming down now and they're going to take... They're going to take this if I don't get there soon. Yeah. We're going to have to be really quick about this. I don't want to waste money. I need to, need to recruit whatever I can, so... What's the best? Illyrian Raiders are good. Coastal Levies. Not too much cost wise. You need a cavalry maybe? Yeah, that's all we can afford. Now we fight. We fight now. Delmatai. Greetings to you. Declare I war. Trust you Boom. This is it guys. This is it. Let's go for it. Charge. See we're up against it. Now, if I continue. Oh, I can't. I have to fight them. Oh, it's because we're in grassland. I didn't attack the settlement. Oh, that's okay. So what have we got? we got one. They've got tribesmen and levies. We've got one unit of ballista and war dogs. We've got lots of stuff from the seas. Right. I'm going to see you all on the battlefield. Hello, guys, and welcome to the battlefield. As you can see, my troops are lined up in kind of three separate groups. We have all the infantry here. have the ballista here. Ships are coming from over there. We're not going to be in range of them for a while, are we? Right, this is what we're going to do. Send that, turn them around. Cav. Hoplites up there. Is that the general? If it is, yes, the general. Excellent. They're going to be sitting ducks. I don't want to split the force though. So I'm going to send my hoplites to reinforce. Like so. They're going to be sitting ducks if they sit there. Can't see over here. What have we got? Tri oh, that's the way the garrison is. Tribesman, javelin. Right. If I take the general out quickly and efficiently here. If I can take the general out quickly and efficiently, they'll have a morale debuff. Reinforcements are going to have to deal with them as they come to shore. Should give me enough time. This is going to be a bit awkward. Ship's going to come along here. Turn them like so. War dogs are waiting. They're going to be there. I'm going to have to. I'm, I'm surrounded on three sides, so I'm going to have to be very quick about this. Hurry up! Come on, get in range. If I can goad them to come towards my cavalry. Oblites ready. I gotta be efficient about this. They're gonna have a height advantage up there as well. Oh, their backs are turned, my god. Illyrian. Cavalry attack. 
in the rear. Got to. I know it's hoplites. It's going to be risky. Really, really risky. But their backs are turned. Uh oh. Charged. And pull out. Back down the hill. Wasn't too bad. Killed one. Ah, that was bad. They're going to be slow. And they're in range. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Pull them in front of the cav. Get some shots away. Meanwhile, back on the beach. They're coming to the beach. Let's get down there quickly. Come on. What have we got? What have we got? Javelin. 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 Oh my god, they're all javelins. And spears. Cavalry needs to come down here. Wrong side of the battlefield. Shit. Didn't think this through. You to charge. Go off the flank. I'm going to sandwich the general now between the two. Oh my god, this is tense. Turn you fools up here, up here. You have to hurry up. Attack. 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 Get a cav over there quickly, my god. <laughs> Attack. Charge. Rapid advance. Don't stop. Charge, you fools. There we go. In the rear. In the rear. Sandwiched. Both of you. Boom. I should deal with them for now. These two levies to come forward. Molossian war dogs. Don't need to use them yet. Gonna bring them some more central. They can come back. Spears are over there. Oh god, this is not good. Losing lots of men quickly here against the spears. The spears are going to be a bit awkward, I think. Let's get a couple of shots in on them. Oh, what's happening? Oh my god, this happened to my Arabaki let's play. Just wouldn't fire properly. Get the cav out there quickly. Get out, you fools. Mercenaries take over. Right, come to them. Oh, don't right. Ah, come on. Don't do this to me. For some reason, these things are messing up. Sort yourselves out, men. How are we going over here? 92 left. Come on, get in there. Break them. Break them. Come on. Charge the javelins. You three all get in on the Thuros spears. Oh, that's the end of the javelin men anyway. Epic charge time. Ah. For Illyria. Excellent. Right, that's them. These two Ross Spears. Bloody horrible. What have they got remaining? They got loads. Look at this. Javelin, tribesman, tribesman. This isn't going well. It's taking too long to break the general up here. Right, it's worked. Cav's gonna come here. Two over there, one over there. Ballista. Orders understood. Go for the javelin men, get some shots in while I pull out. Shall I use the war dogs now? They've split their force, they got three up here. Javelin, tribesmen, tribesmen. Set the war dogs loose on the tribesmen to slow them down. Hopefully I can get some shots away, which I am. Come on, get some kills. This isn't good enough. Levy. Levy. Yes, they're breaking. Finally, kill him. Get that morale debuff going, come on. Levy. Levy. On 
tribes when you want. There we go, dogs are going. Excellent. Come on, doggies. Dogs. Hopefully, can do a good job for me here. That's right. Jump in there. Mess them up. Kill them. God, dogs doing well. Kills over 20 of their men. Ballista to change for these tribesmen up here now. Oh my god. They've come back. You've got to be kidding me. We had height advantage and number advantage, and we're still losing. Jesus. Ah. <sighs> This is going to be awkward. Kill, 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 ready. Finally. Yes. About time. About bloody time. Wasted two units of hoplites just to take him out. My cavalry must have killed loads. Yes, well over a hundred. Turn. Can we do this? Is this possible? What have they got left? They have slingers, javelin, tribesmen, tribesmen, Illyrian levies. They're going to be a little bit of a challenge, perhaps. We've still got two fresh units here, though. Enough javelins are getting shots in right now. Charge the tribesmen. Charge the levies. Go for the slave slingers. War dogs get in there. Attack. How many war dogs we left? 25. These units can come down as well. Reinforce. Oh, this is going to be tight. This is going to be tight, guys. Charge. That's right. Run them off the field. Oh, we're doing well. We're doing well now. We're doing well. <coughs> Pardon me. Now to these javelin men. Now to these javelin men. Go on. Oh, this general's a beast. What's his name? Brightcoss. Brightcoss. Brightcoss the beast. Brightcoss the beast. Oh. <laughs> I think we've done it. My god. I'm going to continue for a second because Brightcoss needs some leveling up. He's, he's nearly there on, on level 2. I'm going to let him continue to chase them down and the rest of my men as well. Molossian War Dogs, look at that, 502 kills. They are so overpowered in this game. That's why I said in the first episode, you've got to recruit Molossian War Dogs as mercenaries if you can, because that's insane, 506 kills. Nobody else even got close to that. My general's got over 300, but that's because he's just doing mopping up work. He's up to level 2, right, we can end the battle there. Quick battle, that's insane. That is insane to have over 500 kills for the War Dogs. I don't think it should be that powerful. They should be powerful, but not quite that power. I mean, really, in the first Rome game, they were used more as a kind of um, unit to disrupt the enemy lines, to try to to get them to make a mistake, to throw towards them, um, maybe use them. It'd be effective against like slingers and and uh, javelin men, but maybe not against heavily armored troops. Oh man, that was cool. That was that was insane. Right, so. Pyrrhic victory. Lots of men leveled up, which is good. We're going to release the captives. We cannot do that. What? And we've now taken this, I think. Yes, we have. This is probably an auto resolve, guys. Um, let's just check. What we're up against. Oh yeah, this is an auto resolve. I'm gonna auto resolve this one, guys. We'll just say that, that battle was for this, so. Ooh, in the head straight away. 
Yada is ours, and we're going to occupy. Increase in rank. Excellente. Military traditions as well. And we're going to upgrade all this stuff. So, what do we want? We want weapon damage by missile, sword arms is what we want, and then we can go for five shots per minute for all archers. We've got wisdom rate at the moment. Keep that. I'll go for that. Um, we want authority. Get some authority for him as well. Can't afford any more mercenaries, unfortunately. I need the mercenaries really because we're going to be quite outnumbered when they do eventually come back. Because they will come back and they've got a full force of 20. And I want to hold the Yada for as long as possible. It'd be nice if the Veniti, like, help me out by here, but I don't think they will. Um, I'm going to put bread and games on. Get that public order. Get that food bonus. And as you can see, we have Illyria. So, I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you've all enjoyed this episode. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.